All right, let's get our guys in. Jonathan Jones, Ryan Wilson, JJ. The Patriots play close games. Sometimes they're high scoring, sometimes they're low scoring. Sometimes they're good on defense, sometimes they're bad on defense, sometimes they're good on offense, sometimes they're not so good. They're terrible at home. They're really good and undefeated on the road. Who, who are the New England Patriots? I have no idea. <laughs> they, they, they don't know, right? I mean, Mac Jones was supposed to be this, like, incredibly efficient passer, and then today he goes something like 51%, but gets the job done. Uh, you know, who's he throwing to? And uh, when are they going to be a run-first team? When are they going to be a pass-first team? When are they going to have balance? What's the defense going to do? They got to Justin Herbert today three times for sacks, and that counts for something. The difference in this game, of course, is turnovers, and it always will be. The fact is that the New England Patriots got 10 points off turnovers, including that pick six by Adrian Phillips. So that's the difference in the game. They were able to control the clock. They were able to turn Justin Herbert over. And, EK, you mentioned the kryptonite, that Bill Belichick must have it for Justin Herbert. This is a guy that Bill Belichick absolutely loved coming out of Oregon, studied him very, very closely. It was no surprise to me last year that Bill Belichick, because he studied him so closely, was able to hold him to zero points when they met last season. And now, of course, sort of uh, uh, making sure that stymieing him, if you will, today, not at all a surprise. Pick all right, the so Patriots. Let me, what is he doing? What is it? What is, I, I wish what that is he I knew. Doing? And can anybody else look at that film and go, we can replicate that, right? It's a copycat league. Somebody is having success against this great player. Why and can I replicate it? I, I wish I could tell you that it's it, that he's deciding to play cover two or cover three or that they're able to get a nice rush on him, whatever. And I'm telling you that Bill Belichick looked very, very hard at Justin Herbert heading into the draft and was very interested in trying to negotiate some way to get up to get Justin Herbert and was unable to. And because of that history and knowledge of Justin Herbert, it is no surprise to me that Bill Belichick, one of the greatest to ever do it, if not the greatest, has figured out a way through two games so far to neutralize Justin Herbert. Ryan Wilson, who are the New England Patriots? You want to take a crack at this? I mean, again, they can't win at home, which they used to be unbelievable at home. They never lose on the road. They play high-scoring games, they play low-scoring games, they play good defense, they play bad defense, they play run-first offense, they play efficient offense. Today, they didn't weren't efficient on offense. I, I mean, figure it out for me, anything? I got nothing. Yeah, no, I think this is a team that's sort of finding its way in a post-Tom Brady world. And Matt Jones, as J.J. just noted, was 18 of 35, and he has been steady as she goes, game manager in the best sense possible. They're not asking him to do too much. And while it's not a lot of fun to watch if you're on the outside looking in and expecting Tom Brady-type performances, that's not where he's at right now in his evolution as an NFL quarterback. By the way, Justin Herbert went 18 for 35 as well, except he had those two turnovers. So I think you have to take this with the understanding that Bill Belichick, Josh McDaniels, they understand that this is going to be a process. Do they wish they had won more games than they have won to this point? Uh, thus far, yes, because prior to uh, today, they were only able to beat the Jets without Tom Brady there uh, this season anyway. So now they've won a huge game on the road against a really good quarterback, and I think you build on this. And again, you know the CK, the AFC is wide open. Uh, there's opportunities for everyone uh, who even one game below 500 to make a move and be in this conversation. And the Chargers, by the way, I love them to win this division. Now they're currently the seventh seed. It doesn't matter as we sit here in the middle of the football season, but it's just something to keep an eye on. This is great news for the Chiefs, who have been struggling, and now they're that much closer to being at the top of the division. And by the way, EK, Brandon Staley, 0-1 against rookie quarterbacks. Very un <laughs> Um, Both teams now have four wins. There are five teams in the AFC that have more than four wins, right? Titans, Ravens, Cincy. Oh, by the way, the Titans and Cincy have both lost to the Jets. <laughs> Vegas and the Bills. All right. I, I assume if we were having a draft for the AFC. Give me the Bills. That's what I was going to say, right? I'll tell you right now. You want the Bills or do you want to pick the next two teams? Uh, I want to pick the next two teams. Okay, so now give them to me. Uh, the Bills and – or excuse me, uh, the Titans and the Ravens. All right. You? That's your – that was your – I think that's right. I think that's pretty close. I think it's the Titans just because everybody else in the division isn't going to catch them and they're going to yep. probably get a home game and maybe get a bye or at least a favorable draw. I, I don't know in that division. I mean, I, Cincy, Ravens, Steelers, Cleveland's going to get healthy at some point in time. Like, there's no nights off in that division. They may bang each other around. There may be a bunch of, you know, eight, nine, and ten win teams, and, and I'm not sure that I can really bank on anybody after that. I, this is wide open to me, and we're talking about teams that have a lot of holes except for maybe the Bills. Yeah. Other than that, I wouldn't have to go to Buffalo in January. I would no. think if they could get it going through their place, that might be – uh, the difference there. Um, all right, so 
We have ourselves a Patriots team that beats the Chargers, and now the AFC is an absolute quagmire. Before we do anything else, you got a sleeper team in the AFC, a team that maybe we haven't mentioned yet, that in our draft you'd be like, I really want them on my side. I'll Chiefs. No, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, they, they still have a lot of holes over there. I'll tell you what, I'll take the Cleveland Browns. Yes. I'll, I'll take a Cleveland Browns team that is figuring it, itself out, that Baker Mayfield showed a lot of moxie earlier today. If he can just – you know, progressively get healthy, but they have the run game. They have the offensive line. They just haven't been healthy through the first, you know, month and a half, two months of the season. I think that they are a better team than that. I picked them to win the North, obviously, so I'm going to continue to bet on the Browns here. I just think that they need to get a little bit healthier here. What about you, Ryan? Yeah, I don't, I don't know about the Browns because they lost to a terrible Steelers team, and that's the concern for me. Yes, Big Ben played a little better. Yes, Najee Harris was able to run the ball a little better. Yes, Baker Mayfield's hurt, but here's the thing that I come back to, J.J. So did the Bills. They lost to a terrible Steelers team if they're terrible and the Titans they've lost to the Jets but here's the here's what I would say for people and this isn't JJ just in general people complaining about injuries being an issue I would point you to the Green Bay, pa Green Bay Packers in their recent game and their win on the road you can do it with one star player who does everything else so yes I get Baker's hurt I get all that but I think I actually and this isn't a huge leap here I might like the Bengals a little better than the Browns. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know. It's, it's a hard sell at this point. But I'll go with the Bengals. J.J. likes the Browns. And, and the wild card team is, will Kansas City get it figured out? Right? I mean, you got to figure, if they get it figured out, they're, they're the best challenge to the Bills. But I, they don't look like they're anywhere close to figuring it out. I need to see them play well, not just in one night. I need to see them play well two And we haven't weeks. seen it. They look like a completely different team. And as I pointed out, I think every single week for like, 72 straight weeks. <laughs> Weird things happen yeah. the next year when you lose the Super Bowl. It just, I don't know what it is, and it's not always the same thing, but the Super Bowl loser almost never has a good year the next year. In fact, one team in the last 50 years won the Super Bowl the year after they lost it. That's it. And it was New England when they beat the Rams after losing to Philly. Everybody else, strange things happen.